Good Friday, Longhorns. Welcome back to an all-new UTV show. Today is Friday, October the 13th. Boo! Huh. Coming up on this week's broadcast, the annual Parent Festival is just around the corner. Plus, a local teacher that contributed so much to nature will be honored with a memorial ceremony. All that and more, so let's get started. Good Friday, I'm Jose Pepe Arrasola. And I'm Lisandra Vasquez. Thank you for joining us, making us the number one newscast in all of UISD. This is what's happening around Longhorn Nation. Today is the last day students can donate money for the Real Men Wear Pink campaign. Monsieur Alemán would like to get $1 from each student to help raise money for cancer. Breast cancer affects everyone. It doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. Through the Real Men Wear Pink campaign, we're hoping to save lives. During the month of October, United ISD High Schools will be raising money for the American Cancer Society. Every donation helps provide early detection and prevention, innovative breast cancer research, and patient support. Our community can make a huge impact in the fight against breast cancer. Please donate today. If we all give a little, we can donate a lot. Ms. Cardenas would like to thank everyone who was able to donate items for people who survived the earthquakes in Mexico last month. I'd like to thank everyone who gave their donations. Um, as we know, uh, Mexico has suffered through all these earthquakes and I know that the smallest donation is going to help. Um, I'm glad to say that United High School took the initiative um, to help these people. Thank you. Last Thursday, they dropped off the supplies to one of our local fire stations who is shipping the items to relief areas. Thank you to everyone who has donated. United ISD is inviting all parents to join us for our annual Parent Learning Summit. United Independent School District invites all UISD parents to attend the annual Parent Learning Summit from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Saturday, October 21st at United High School. The event includes many informative parent sessions, kitty camps, and a motivational speaker. Parents will be served free breakfast and lunch, plus there will be door prize drawings. Attend the UISD Parent Learning Summit, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Saturday, October 21st at United High School. Breakfast will be provided as well as transportation. This event is free and open to all UISD parents. LCC is inviting all students to the 23rd Annual Trail Workday, the Paso del Indio Nature Trail, this upcoming Saturday, October 21st. Registration will begin at 7 a.m. and lunch will be provided. All ages are welcomed and community service hours are provided. LCC will also honor the life of a local beloved educator that contributed so much to nature. Mr. Arturo Jimenez from Washington Middle School with a memorial ceremony. This past Friday, our Taffy Club attended the 2017 Taffy's First Career Day at San Antonio, Texas. Our students were given advice from experts on both the field and education and public relations, and were also able to enjoy a sports game after the session. Taffy is getting ready for competitions, and if you're interested in representing United, please stop by room C236 or talk to any of the officers for more information. This past Saturday, our AFJROTC competed in Medina Valley. Our students came out with the top male PT spot landing first place, mixed PT first place, male color guard second place, and PT male second place. We want to congratulate our RTC team for always representing United with honor and pride. Attention Longhorns, our United High School staff is encouraging all teachers and students to decorate the hallways with Longhorn spirit. Be creative and spirited. Please respect and enjoy all the hard work our students put into the halls. The front office will announce the hall with the most spirit. If you're interested in living a more healthy life, then this is for you. Our Youth Fit Club meets every day after school to work out. If you have any questions or want more healthy tips, go by room D103 for a real Youth Fit experience. Homecoming season is right around the corner, and the junior class is already preparing. Sponsors, please make sure you fill out the form Ms. Laurel shared with you so you can order for your nominees. Moms are $35 and garters are $25, or you can buy both for $60. Students can also purchase moms and garters for the same prices. For more information, go by Ms. Flores' room in C112. Attention seniors, Bob 4 will be here at United every other Wednesday during both lunches, starting October 18th. Be sure to order your cap and gown now so you don't have to wait until the last minute. 
The price is $45. UASD and Sames Kia are teaming up once again this year for the Never Be Absent campaign. If you don't miss any days this school year, you will be entered into a drawing with the Sames Kia company to win a Kia Nero. UISD students, your future could include a new car. The Sames Kia in the Classroom program is back. All United ISD high school students are eligible to win a new 2018 Kia Nero. Just have perfect attendance during any nine week period and your name will be entered into the UISD grand prize drawing to win a new car. Unlock the mystery of your future, attend class and win a new Kia Nero. So try your best to be here every day and good luck to you all. Up next, the Fear Hunter House is back in Laredo. With more is Robert Maradonado in your local Laredo. Good Friday, Longhorns. I'm Robert Maldonado, and this is what's going on in your city. First up, the Fear Haunted House is back in Laredo again to scare anyone who is willing to enter. Fear had its grand opening on September 29th, and the Haunted House will be operating on Saturdays and Sundays from 5 to 12 midnight and 5 to 8 p.m. respectively. So if you think you have the guts to enter the Haunted House, please don't miss out. In other news, a local teacher who won her battle against breast cancer shared her story as a way to inspire others in light of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Cigaroa Middle School choir teacher Raquel Ramirez had battled cancer 10 years ago and now she has made it her mission to inspire and motivate those who are going through similar battles. Ramirez brought awareness on the disease to her community and students and said that the one thing she had during her fight was faith and positivity and she encourages others to keep that attitude as well. Finally, the city of Laredo is working on making a more biker friendly environment with new bike lanes. Certain routes along major roads like Santa Maria will have some added spaces for riders. Councilman Roberto Bali added that the city is also working towards adding bicycle racks and promoting cycling education. Other lanes that can expect these additions include Park and Garden Street. This has been your local news. I'm Robert Maldonado. Have a fantastic weekend. Now back to you. With your world news, it's Alex Aguilar. Good Friday Longhorns, my name is Alex Aylar and this is your world news. North Korea says that Trump lit the wick of war and vows a hail of fire. They swore this just this Wednesday. North Korean foreign minister told Russian's TASS news agency the US and North Korea have a final score to settle that cannot be done with words. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders says that the president was not declaring war with North Korea. Puerto Rico is still without power. Their power grid was destroyed by Hurricane Maria. Elon Musk, who is the Tesla CEO, stated that he can help power the island. Tesla has done so for much smaller islands, such as Kauai in Hawaii and Tao in American Samoa, according to the company's website. Tesla has already sent many of its battery packs to Puerto Rico in order to help the island store energy in an effort to offset the shortage. Elon Musk has also personally donated $250,000 in an effort to rebuild the island. In cuter news, Russian President Vladimir Putin has a new best friend. Thanks to Turkmenistan's president, President Kirbin Gulli presented Putin with a birthday gift, a puppy, on Wednesday during talks at the Black Sea Resort in Sochi. The Russian leader turned 65 on Saturday and is a known dog lover. When presented with the puppy, Putin cradled the dog and kissed it on its forehead. This has been your weekly world news. Remember, when in doubt, spoot out. Now back to you. With this week's weather, is Marina Rey. Friday Longhorns and welcome to this week's weather forecast. Now as we all know just this past week we had a cold front come in and it brought in some cool fall weather and made everybody excited for October. But
But of course, cold fronts do not last forever as it's already getting back into the warm Laredo weather. Starting off tonight, it'll get into a high of 91 and then a low of 73, and it'll stay in the 90s until about Saturday, and Sundays it's going to get down into the 80s. And starting off of Monday of next week, we'll see promising signs for the true fall weather, with it getting into lows of 60s and even 50s. So stay tuned, Longhorns, because it looks like a cool winter will come our way. Well, this has been your weekly weather forecast. Now back to you. With your school information news, it's Daniel Gutierrez. Good Friday, Longhorns. Welcome to School Info News. My name is Daniel Gutierrez, and this is your school news update. The Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, also known as the ASVAB, will be administered for all grades except freshmen on November 15th. This standardized test helps recruitment officers determine an individual's suitability for particular branches of service or career pathways. The test is free. All you have to do is go to the Counseling Center and sign up. Seats for the PSAT and NMSQT are still being sold at the Counseling Center and in the Counselor's Corner on the United High School website. Seats are being sold quick, so be sure to purchase your seat before it's too late. The test is on Wednesday, October 25th. The test is only for sophomores and juniors, and the seats will stop selling on Thursday, October 19th. Attention all seniors, there will be a financial aid night on October 19th in the library from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. There will be representatives from TAMU and LCC available to help students and parents fill out their FAFSA forms. There is a new book club on campus with more on that. Here's Ms. Rodriguez. I can't believe I fell for it. Now I find myself surrounded by four walls and no windows. Nothing moves. Time stops. Who brought me here and why? It was still dark when I woke up this morning. As soon as my eyes opened, I knew where I was, but I didn't know why. There are six little rooms along the main corridor. The elevator's the only way in and out. What's he gonna do to me? People's needs are really quite simple. Food, water, light, space, and privacy. What happens when someone simply takes all of that away? If you wanna know the rest of the story, come by the library to sign up for the United High School Library Book Club. We will be reading The Bunker Diary by Kevin Brooks. First meeting takes place Tuesday, October 17th. That's all the info I have for you guys today. My name is Daniel Cateras, and this has been School Info News. That's it, guys. Back to you. Good Friday, Longhorns. I'm Lizzie Marr with your sports update. The last football game, our Longhorns took out South San. We begin with JC Gutierrez, who made a big stop behind the line of scrimmage, resulting in a tackle for loss. Then, Jorge Muriel, who connects with Guayo Huerta for a 10 yard reception. Isaac Velasquez is able to break tackles and come up with a big gain for 20 yards. Picking it up in the third quarter, Yair Peña picks up a field goal after a touchdown to tie the score. In the end, Isaac Velasquez is able to rush six yards for the game winning touchdown. In the final minutes, our defense held South San, preventing them from scoring. We won the game 14 to 7. Tonight, we take on United South at 7.30 at the SAC. This past Tuesday, Our Lady Longhorns took on United South at United South. We were able to come up with a win, helping them stay in the running for district champs. Tonight, they take on Southwest at San Antonio. That's it for this week. Make sure you got on support. Now back to you. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. And don't forget, you can always watch our latest shows and stream our Longhorn Radio station any day, anytime at longhornradio.org as well get the latest announcements and check out our Weekend Pick segments. You can also get to know more about our anchors and DJs on our bio pages. And don't forget to follow our Instagram account at Longhorn Radio for updates and things happening around your community. We hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you next Friday with a brand new show and more of news that matters to you. This has been what's happening around Longhorn Nation. News from today that will make part of tomorrow's history.